So we are going to be looking at bar charts today. Bar charts are also called bar graphs. It's a graphical display of data using bars of different heights, which are spaced out equally. So this is an example of a bar chart. The bars are not joined together unlike you have it for histogram. The bars are spaced out and the space you are to use between the bars must be the same. If you are using one centimeter, you must use one centimeter here also, one centimeter here and one centimeter here. It can be two centimeter, it can be 1.5 centimeter spacing. But the space at the beginning in front of the first bar does not matter. What matters is that you use the same spacing for the other, for the in between the bars, in between. The space in between is what's important. Important. They must be equal. So let's look at an example. The data shows the type of uh, movie preferences of a person. Represents the data on a bar chart. When you are done, what percentage of people love documentaries? B. What fashion of people love movies? So let's represent this information on a bar chart. You will need your y axis and your x axis. This is the y axis. And the x axis. X axis on my Y axis I'm going to put them my frequencies starting from the smallest smallest frequency here is one and the highest is six so I'll use a, a unit of one I'll use one two three four five I, do, I don't need I don't need to use two four six eight and so on so I'll use unit of one for my frequency and I'll use two line spacings two line spacing that's one two three four five and six so here will be for my my movie preferences comedy action documentary drama and science fiction are the movie preferences so movie preferences this one here is a frequency 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 okay so let's start with the first one comedy but before that let's look at the spacing we are going to use for our bars and the width for our bar for our bar. So our bar, let's use one centimeter for our bar and for our spacing. One one centimeter. You can choose to use one point five if you have enough space. But one centimeter should be okay. If you are using a graph sheet, you don't need to do this because your graph sheets are have lines. Graph sheets have lines on them so that will guide you as to the spacing to use so look at your graph sheets graph sheets have lines already in them so this lines so you don't need to measure uh, when you're using a graph sheet but if you're using a paper like this one you need to measure out your bars and your graph and your spacing okay so comedy has a frequency of four Comedy has a frequency of four. So I'll represent comedy with C. Well, first, but first, let me draw out all the bars. 
Action represents a frequency of five. So five people love action movies. So I'll draw my bar for action movie up to five here. So here is where I have five. So my bar should get to five. So I'll draw it to make it complete. And I'll join together. Next one is documentary. Documentary has a frequency of six. Next one is drama. Drama has a frequency of one. Just one person likes drama. Next one, science fiction. Four people like science fiction. So yeah. So that's all. So I'll represent comedy with C. I'll represent action movie with A. Documentary would be D O. Please write yours in full. Don't you are not supposed to um, abbreviate? It's because I don't have space here. That's why I'm abbreviating. Please write yours in full. So drama, I'll make drama D R. You can write it slantly, slantly, so that it uh, does not overlap. Um, so if I want to write comedy, I'll write comedy like this: C O M. E D Y and so on. Okay, the last one is science fiction S F. So if you are asked what is what movie preferences does or do people like the more or most? What prefer, what movie preferences do people like most? My answer will be a documentary because documentary has the highest rectangular bar or the highest frequency. So let's look at this question. What percentage of people love documentaries? First of all, take note of the number of people that love documentary. Huh? So six people love documentary. So that will be six. Six over the total number of people involved in this, um, in this should I say, experiment. So add up five plus. 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15, 15 plus 1 is 16, 16 plus 4 is 20. So 6 out of 20 people love documentary. So multiply by 100 to make it a percentage. 0 cancels 0 year, 2 year 1, 2 and 6 is 3. So 3 times 10 times 10 is, is 30. So 30% love documentaries. B. What fraction of people love action movies? So action movies, five people love action movies. So that will be five over the total number of people involved. Five over 20. So this is the fraction of people that love action movies. But the five and 20 have common factors. So you can divide out to its simplest form. 5 in 5 years is 1, 5 in 20 is, is 4. So 1 over 4 is a fraction of people who love action movies. So what we are going to do is to attempt this question. Mm? So this is the exercise. Just like I have done, you have to construct a bar chart representing this information. So that would do that would do. so just control the bar chart.